talk a little bit more about some of the pluses and things we can do with this Groundhog Max that makes it so unique. Like we talked a little bit before, it's not a pull behind, it is a unique product that you're actually riding on like a fifth wheel. So one of the big selling points of this thing is for you guys with the small Hondas and the two wheel drives, I know you can't pull the big two wheel drive, I mean you can't pull the big pull behind type plows because it's too heavy and your machine's gonna run hot. So with our plow, these two wheel drive Hondas, you're able to plow at speeds, even though it's half as wide as your normal pull behind, you're able to plow five to seven miles an hour. And the best way to do is plow in looping circles and figure eights. Harder the ground is, the more ground clutter, the more passes you're gonna have to make. But for the small two wheel drive guys, you're able to use this product. It won't overheat your machine because you're plowing four to seven versus two or three that you would be doing with a pull behind. So doing that plowing, the harder the ground is, but the more ground clutter, roots, rock sticks, and everything that you're gonna run across, the more passes you may have to make. But you're just riding on an ATV, so you know everything stays cool, and that's a big benefit for doing that. Itself. The plow is made out of quarter wall steel, so it's real heavy duty made. The T head on the plow that has the eight holes in it can be turned upside down or right side up according to your bike. Some bikes or machines are like high off the ground, some guys are low off the ground, so the T head can be turned one way for low ground clearance and it can be turned the other way for ground uh, higher ground clearance. We've got a multitude of bikes that range in there, so that's adjustments in one inch increments, you can pretty much make it work. One other thing about the plow that I want to go into sometimes it happens is uh, you put the plow on backwards. There is an indicator on the plow itself now that's a red arrow that points it in the right directions, but some guys do put it on backwards. If you put it on backwards, it's not going to work as well because you're going to have the disc set in the wrong direction and it's going to drag. So make sure that you got it on in the right direction. If you put it on wrong, it has a tendency to bend your hitch. So be sure you look at that in the manual. And if you're squatted at the back of the machine and you're putting the plow in, the point of the plow has kind of got a chevron shape to it. The point should be pointed at your shoes going towards the rear of the machine or going backwards away from the machine actually. So keep that in mind. Reverse, people want to know if you can use it in reverse. It does, you can use it in reverse, but you're not plowing. When we say you can back up with the plow engaged is basically what we're saying. So if you're going to make a turn and you're going to hit a tree, you can, with it engaged, you can back up and move around that tree. Your disc would be set wrong if you're trying to plow backwards with it. We do also suggest always plowing in looping circles and in figure eights because as you loop through your food plot, there's a lot of cut in terms of maneuverability on this plow. So don't go from one end to the other. It does plow straight back and forth. It does plow, but it also cuts well on loops. So extend your loops and do figure eights. You want to hit the ground from several different directions. Harder the ground is with the more ground clutter, the more passes you're going to have to make. play loose play down at the bottom where the plow actually goes into the axle assembly itself that is intentional that allows the plow to float from left to right some guys want to know well mine's real loose on the bottom that is intentional for that to work on uneven territory uh, it does have a 90 day warranty on it so and we're going to take care of our customers we want to keep them happy no matter what the deal is if you need to call us we'll work with you on it you get a replacement bearing for this product for like six bucks uh, you can also, if you ever broke a blade, which we have very few of those that do it, you can get a blade with the bearing already installed in it for $18, $20, according to which size you need. So we do have replacement parts. We do have the technical support. So anytime you can call us, feel free to do so.